دولة دادك أشقة يا إن قرض كران أو دادك سحن أولاد أقمان أما الدلال أما وحياة رالك مئين شرعونا رالك معها The feud between Puntland President Saeed Denny and the federal government appears to be back on. About a week after President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud declared there was no bad blood with Puntland, the Somali leader used a Friday prayer speech to warn Denny about misusing the state's upcoming local elections. The Puntland president should be mindful of the people's political aspirations and listen to politicians and local traditional leaders who champion development. We won't let 24 years of progress be unraveled quickly. Hassan Sheikh referred to Denny's voter registration efforts as controversial. They have met with resistance from Puntland opposition figures. Somalia's president made his remarks at the Villa Somalia Mosque, crowded with top officials, including legislators and cabinet ministers. Other prominent figures were more blunt in accusing Denny of trying to rig polls. Former Puntland president, and transitional federal prime minister, Abdueli Mohammed Ali Ghass, spoke out at the event as well. The Puntland parliament must reject the personal ambitions of the Puntland president. Another former Puntland president and current senator, Abdirahman Farol, has anticipated Denny will amend the state constitution. Farol leads the opposition Horseed party in the state. In January, Denny declared that Puntland would operate autonomously until a new federal constitution is in place. This led many to speculate that he would attempt to extend his term. He has declined to attend National Consultative Council meetings. This has created the appearance of a feud with Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. The president has taken a wise path, focusing attention on this month's Puntland voting. But Denny will probably ignore the criticism and do as he likes. It will be up to the state legislature to oppose any moves that he makes. Denny is playing a dangerous game. If his gamble to extend his term is not successful, he will look weak and hurt his national leadership ambitions in the long run. It might be better for the Puntland president to let the voters have their say unobstructed and hope that he and his supporters get a fresh mandate. ADN-TV will continue to report on political developments across Somalia.